Second two is you, you think about the interception um, when Jalen Brooks fell, slipped down. That's trust. And I promise you, I didn't lose trust in him. I'm going to trust him again and make a throw just like that or one very similar to it And because it's a guy that does it the right way, day in and day out, shows up. Um, and, and when you slip, you slip. That shit happens. So, um, but but that, that's a pure example of trust. And um, good or bad, I'm okay when that ball leaves my hand. What does okay. kind of in that position now with – a couple of defensive yeah. players out and Brandon and just kind of what you're facing here with the schedule coming up. Didn't know where you're going with that. <laughs> um, it took me a while to get to it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, for sure. I mean, it, it is just one, an opportunity to show the depth of this team, what we're made of. Um, young guys, as we talk about, you're going to have to count on them late in the year, um, that you got to count on them now. Um, so, um, yeah, it's, it's, that's the NFL. I mean, honestly, it's, it's how I got my job. Um, it's how a lot of people have stepped in and gotten their job. Tyler Smith, right, that, like, when your number's called, Jump in, show that you, you belong here, show that you can prepare the right way. You make the most of your opportunity. I think we've got young guys to be able to do that. Um, and whether it's holding it down or, or making a name for themselves, um, yeah, I think that we can, for one, get the identity set of this team, and, and one, just being fighters, one, um, relentless in what we do. Uh, second, or I guess third or whatever, however, whatever you want to put it in, maybe even first, just detailed and like um, that it doesn't matter who we put in, that, that we're going to play hard. Um, we're going to give you our best, super, super detailed. And we're coming to win. Any part of you as the franchise quarterback, certainly newly minted, $60 million man, to say, I got to do more, they expect more out of me to help make up for that? I think it just goes within within the plays, within the responsibility. Um, I've got to make the most of the passing plays that are called. Um, obviously, help the young guys in the pocket, uh, moving around, uh, maybe using my feet more. Um, I don't think it has as much to do with um, the franchise or the contract as it is who I am and, and what I'm capable of doing. And so to me, it's about going out there and being my best and, and preparing my best to, to be able to go and do that. Um, and, and contract or not, those are the expectations standards that I have for myself. And I know this team, when I'm able to do that, that, that we get rolling on offense and the team plays better when we've got points and we're getting points to complement them. And um, so for me, yeah, it's, it's, it's about doing what I can and preparing my best to, to go out there and put on my best. And on the flip side, do you have to guard against not trying to do too much, and not trying to be Superman because of trying to make up? As I said, I think it's just within the play. Um, I mean, I don't break the huddle and say I've got to go be Superman here, but I, I'm, I've been able to, you know, break some tackles. I've been able to do some things that have helped people out. Um, as I said, use my feet more, make the throws. Uh, and so I don't think it's anything outside of my game that, that I've got to try to do rather than, um, as I said, just being my best. And, and I think if I do that, guys are detailed and they do the exact same, take the same approach and being their best, and we're able to put that out there. Um, I'm not worried about the results and how, it's going, how, how we're going to play out. You mentioned this is how you got your job through an injury, and it seemed like that game in Pittsburgh in 2016 was pretty big in the transition permanently from Romo to you, the first 300-yard passing game winning another big game on the road. Do you recall the circumstances around that, the significance of it? Uh, I remember being in a night game, as you said. Um, they're a good team, always been a good team. Credit to, to what they've got, that foundation over there, Coach Tomlin. Um, but to say where it was or how meaningful that game was, and I, I was, I don't want to say naive to that, but that didn't matter to me. I was going out there no different than I just mentioned, just trying to play my best and be my best and preparing for that and, and not worried about if. I was going to have the job the next day or not. I knew if I controlled what I controlled, um, I'd get another opportunity and, and stay at it. And so I just remember it being a hell of a game. A um, couple of big throws. Didn't realize it was my first 300 yard passing game. Um, but uh, it was an exciting game. Went down to the wire. Uh, I remember Ben Roethlisberger fake spike touchdown to Antonio Brown. Some great moments just throughout that game that um, was definitely one to remember. What do you miss without having Brandon? Uh, one, I mean, first off, his leadership. Uh, simple as that, his leadership. Um, the way that he, he gets guys going, gets that receiver group going, leads them. Uh, and then secondly, understanding the speed and the trust and what we've built over this, uh, especially over the last year and then in the training camp. Um, he damn sure will be missed, uh, but now it's time for guys, as I said, Jalen Tolbert, Jalen Brooks, Flo, uh, those guys to step up as well, some of those tight ends. With Tolbert, is this, there's a guy you've thrown a bunch with. Yeah. Uh, does, it, does it him stepping into a bigger role? change anything because you've done so much with him already? No, I don't think it does. I think it's an opportunity for him to go out there and, and prove, prove to himself. Um, as I mentioned in training camp, I mean, you guys saw it. He was probably the most consistent guy there, whether it be, you know, CD holding out or Brandon's uh, vet days, that he was a guy that was there day in and day out and really stepped into that role that um, I, I don't think it would be much change for him. Uh, I just needs to prepare the right way and get ready to be emotionally uh, 
emotionally calm and, and play his best. Can you, As you, define, know, the can you define season. what trust is between the quarterback and receivers? Check out my back foot, ripping it, um, not thinking twice, and, and him playing fast and going into a catch. Um, simple as that, to be honest. I mean, I think a lot of times if you watch me play and um, – as I said, you watch my feet, and when I hit that back foot, if, if I'm humming the ball, um, it's trust. I mean, honestly, a play that I look into is you, you think about the interception um, when Jalen Brooks fell, slipped down. That's trust. And I promise you, I didn't lose trust in him. I'm going to trust him again and make a throw just like that or one very similar to it And because it's a guy that does it the right way, day in and day out, shows up. Um, and, and when you slip, you slip. That shit happens. So, um, but but that, that's a pure example of trust. And. Um, good or bad, I'm okay when that ball leaves my hand. What's yeah, the importance you know of the, um, the NFL season is about getting better month over month. <laughs> what's, what's, your, uh, what's your guys as a team the biggest takeaway from September with the hopes of using that to make October better than September was? Yeah, I mean, we, we weren't clean enough. We didn't um, do well enough on third down offensively. Um, that allows us to stay on the field, eat up some of the time of possession, keep our defense off the field, allow them to be fresh. Um, I bet they would say turnovers. I bet they want more turnovers, just understanding the defense that they've been, a bunch of ball hawking guys on that side of the defense. Um, and then just two and two is not acceptable for us. Uh, so, so it's about um, finding a way to win, um, starting this Sunday um, and, and moving forward one game at a time. And like, like you said, from the good and the bad, being able to take everything from this first four games uh, and put it forward uh, in this one and, and so forth. This is a guy who's used to playing a lot. How has he been able to handle uh, the way that he's yeah, I'm sure it's frustrating. Um, I can't – I've alluded to it, imagine, right, being in that position, um, having to come off. I mean, I know a guy young in my career who couldn't get him off the field. I mean, if he would come off the field, it would be for a play, and then he was right back in there, and that would be maybe five plays out of the whole game. So, damn sure frustrating, I'm sure, and I know it is. Uh, but he's a team-first guy, um, so, so he's not showing that. He's coming in doing everything that he needs to do for this team um, and just trying to make the most of his opportunities to keep himself on the field, and um, that's what a pro does. Last year, your offense used to play action at the highest rate of your career, and you had an awesome year. This year, it's the lowest. Why do you think that is, and how helpful yeah. is that to you? Yeah, look at the games. Um, we're down in a couple of them, big early. It's, uh, you don't have much of a run threat, um, so when you don't have that, no reason to play action. Um, and, and the run game, I would say, going on top of that rate, hasn't, we wouldn't say it's probably been efficient as we want it to be. Um, so, so therefore, once again, um, it starts with us getting the run going, um, us playing ahead in games more like we did last week, uh, running better like we did in the game last week, and I think from there you'll see you'll see that open up more. Jack, as a quarterback, do you feel like pre-snap motion is something that helps when you're trying to realize what the defense is doing and kind of getting them in the right place? Yeah, I mean, 1,000%. Uh, enjoy motion, used it a whole lot here in my career. Um, I think one, it depends on what the defense is and what kind of defense are they? Do they adjust a lot with the motion? Are they leaving their nickel to the field? Or are they showing a lot if they bring them to the boundary? So um, sometimes you can just be doing it for no reason. So for us, it's about um, knowing when we're doing it, while we're, while we're doing it, for not just me, but for the whole uh, offense, um, creating leverage on certain plays. Um, but yeah, when you use it for the right reasons, um, it's a huge benefit. Jack, you were featured in the Evolution of the Black Quarterback documentary that was released last, last week, and you talked about um, being told by multiple people that the Dallas Cowboys would never have a black franchise quarterback. So knowing what you know now, what would you go back and tell 2016 Dak Prescott about those experiences and the interviews about him back home? You're right. <laughs> uh, keep believing in yourself. Understand that what, uh, what other people say, what other people think, their perception really doesn't matter. Um, when you've got the ball in your hand, make the most of the opportunity. Don't allow them to, to take away, take you off the field, to take away your job. Um, continue to believe in yourself. So uh, 2016, I think I had the right mindset, same one as I do now. Um, and it's, sim it's simply that, that uh, um, hopefully in 2024, we're, you know what I'm saying, it, it, we don't have to have, uh, nobody else is doubting anybody in any position in, in life. And, um, their job uh, based on, you know, not just their color, their ethnicity, um, but their background or anything, um, and just giving people the opportunity that they deserve uh, to make the most of it um, regardless. Are you playing your best football? Uh, playing solid football. Um, I think if you broke down all four games, there's a play or two, a couple plays within that I want back, um, that I could do this, I could do that. It's a little bit of, you know, guarding against trying to do more, um, as you asked me earlier. Um, but I can tell you my best is damn sure I'm on the brink of it. And, and I feel like I'm 
stepping into that. So in these first four games, so I say solid, good ball. Um, I can play better, uh, but but I'm always going to tell you that I can go throw for 500, no incompletions. I'm going to tell you I can play better. Um, so um, yeah, them sure coming. I know you said earlier that you were seeing it well in one game, even though the results haven't been, but you're seeing it. So you think you're confident in how you're seeing it? Thousand percent, thousand percent. Obviously, his competitiveness is going to be missed. Physicality and everything he brings to the game. Um, I mean, I've, he's, he's still a leader in the room. Um, everything that he's been through, he's still in the room communicating with us. Granted, we hate that he's not out there with us, but um, you know, I got to go out there and play, play for him and yeah, come out with a dub. As an offense, do y'all feel because of everything that's going on defense that y'all got to make up or set the tone? No, we got to go out there and score regardless. <clears throat> That's the end goal. Um, every time we step out there on the field, it's to score regardless of what the defense have done or what they haven't done. And um, I mean, we keep that mindset. We'll get in the box. You guys got off to a hot start with Brandon Cooks uh, first half, first quarter against Cleveland, hot start against the Giants, wins in both games. After the Giants game, you said you guys offensively still left some meat on the bone. How do you approach this game against the Steelers and try to prevent that from happening? Ultimately, the end of the goal is to execute. <clears throat> Execute, um, make routine plays, and do what we've been doing. Um, move the chain, stay above the 2.3, if you will. Uh, obviously, they got a great defender out there in, in T.J. Watt, and account for him. Can have him, let him have a good day, and um, we should be fine. Just imposing that they have to step up. I mean, it's time. You're here for a reason, and um, come showcase your abilities and. Unfortunately, we lost a brother uh, this week, and who knows how long he's going to be out. But um, yeah, it's time for them to step up, and I'm happy for them. Can't wait for them to go out there and show showcase their abilities. How much do they lean on you? Because obviously, you've been going for a while. Uh, I mean, for a lot. I mean, they, I, I'm open to them regardless. Uh, they can ask me anything, and I'll have the answer to it. If not, I'll find the answer. So uh, for them, just building that relationship, that camaraderie, and um, building, instilling that confidence within them. Who? Oh yeah, 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 Flo. Yeah, yeah. I was like, what? You? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, no. He's he's definitely did with his his come out in the preseason, obviously, and his 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 week in and week out uh, battles. You know, um, he's able to win one on ones. He's very strong at the point of attack, and uh, I can't wait to see him out there on Sunday. I'm not playing running back. We have running backs for that. I'm not playing. I mean, it's just it's just a package. I have packages for sure, but uh, I enjoy it a lot. Um, it's fun, different scenery, I guess. <laughs> no, nah, I'm a wide receiver. I just can't play running back. What are the particular challenges for you as a wide receiver against the Steelers? What opportunities are there? What are the challenges? Um, I just got to go out there and be me. Uh, I feel like. No added pressure, just going out there making routine plays again. Um, Got to stay above the sticks. Um, anything that's thrown in my way, come up with it. So, uh, does somebody need to make you mad before the game? Does it flip this switch? Nah, I'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> How much does motion and or play action in your offense help you be you? I mean, I'll be me regardless. Motion, stationary, uh, play action. Uh, but. You know, eyes are always on me, realistically. So uh, just having more than one set of eyes on me is you got to get a bit tricky and move around. But uh, just can't have them keeping a track as to where I am, um, keeping them guessing, keeping a defensive coordinator on his toes and uh, having a defense try to find everywhere I'm at. How does it, you learn a lot about your team when you go through tough times like this because you missed some key starters on defense and obviously you missed some cooks. Do you know a lot about what you have as a group when you go through stuff like this? I mean, yeah, that's what training camp's for, but I was watching it, you know, so uh, just seeing everything that was going on, um, I have no doubt that the guys are prepared. Uh, it's all about self-preparation and everything that you put in throughout the week, and it'll show on Sunday. So uh, just going in week in and week out, attacking, knowing that they're going to be out there and they have the opportunity. So um, I just want them to know that, like, I'm out there with them, you know what I'm saying, regardless of the situation of what happens. Like, we'll be fine. Just play your game. How was practice today? It's pretty good. It was a Thursday. Was it, well, because previous games, Mike said you've had rough practices and that has led into. It was pretty good. It was a Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> you, One thing you're talking about um, um, offensively and maybe the, the consistency of it. So 
Your numbers have been down in the second half compared to what they were earlier in games this year. Is that just an example of the, the consistency overall offensively and not quite being there yet as a group? Uh, we've got to find ways to win, obviously. Uh, granted, second half hasn't been, I mean, hasn't been well for me. And I'm sure it's on paper and a lot of people have paid attention to it. But uh, just getting, just staying involved, staying in tune, and staying on top of uh, pretty much anything that I got to do to contribute to this win and contribute to moving the ball. And that's what I like to do. So uh, we'll figure it out. CD, how aware are you of the rivalry, the Cowboys Steelers, how much it means to the fans and the iconic franchise? Uh, I'm not, honestly, I'm not too aware of it, quite honestly. But I, I've seen that they've played like three Super Bowls. Um, we lost two and won one. But um, I'm excited to be a part of it, for sure. Mike McCarthy talked much about going home. Or the it's a good talk to all about, you know, he's from Pittsburgh. I don't know if he talks yeah. much to y'all about yeah, he does. being a Pittsburgh guy and how much this game means. Y'all know how much this means to him going back home. I mean, it means just as much to us as it does to him. I mean, we all are a part of the same situation. But for him, I know it's a homecoming. Um, I'm sure he's, he's pretty stoked to go back. But uh, we, got the same, we got the same mindset going in.